Hi there, Dean Hansen here. Uh, sorry if I've lost my enthusiasm on this recording. This is the third time I've done this video. <laughs> and uh, it hasn't been working. My screen flow completely just keeps crashing on me. I'm assuming it's because I just upgraded to iOS Mavericks last night and this screen flow copy is less than legitimate. So I'm thinking I might not be able to use it anymore. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not talking about screen flow today. I hope you can see that. I'm doing this with my GoPro camera. I have no way to see what I'm actually filming until I'm done. Um, other than with the GoPro app that also does not want to work right now. So anyway, I pray to God this is the last time I do this video. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to talk about the iCam, which is literally the coolest app I have ever downloaded. It's five bucks. It's worth every penny. I would literally pay 20 happily for this app. Um, basically what it's designed to do is it's a way to turn your webcam in, uh, it, it's to way to stream your webcam footage at your house to the internet via a secure private link that only you can see and you can view it on your phone. In, real time well close to real time there's about a two to three second delay but it works really well for five bucks I'm amazed you can do a lot with it I'm just gonna kinda show it to you how you get it is download the app iCam on your phone it says you can do this Android and PC but I'm using Mac and iPhone it probably works better this way but usually things do um, but you can use Android PC Download the app just in the app store on your phone, then come to this website, skjm.com. I have no idea how well you can see what I'm showing you on the screen. I hope you can see it. I'll try to remember to put a link in the, the description. Click on iCam. Um, this is where you can also get the app. Click down here to learn more. I don't know why they designed it this way. This is where you actually download the free version on your computer not the uh, the app on the phone is not free it's five bucks w well worth it I, mean, I downloaded the Mac version right um, when you open it up you'll get something that looks like this and uh, base it's really basic it's really easy to use um, this is your cameras here you could add more cameras by clicking add um, and you can do a lot with it, but let's just get to the basics really quick. Um, it already knew what camera I wanted to use that was plugged into my USB, you know, the audio I want for the camera. Camera. I'm not going to go over every little detail. You can tell just by looking at it. It's self-explanatory. You have a password and a username that you put in. I have encrypt on, and then you click start. And right now, you can see there's the camera that's filming the video you're seeing now it's a GoPro you can see me on that camera that is going to the internet um, via a secure oh. link and boom right then and there I just got a uh, uh, indication on my phone because I have it set up for motion detection and it detected motion when I hit record it can see my motion and I got an indication on my phone so if I was at work I would get that motion detect indication. I just slide it over, and here it is a live video of my house. It's going to echo a bunch. But yeah, you can see that I could do four videos on this app. I already have the app on the phone. I have it set up to notify me when motion is detected. And boom, I got it. And just like that, I, I, I didn't set anything up. That's how it worked when I out of the box. I'm pretty amazed. Um, that's all under the motion detector. So let's close that. <coughs> let's hit stop. Um, if you came over to motion detect, you can see that I've got it set to send notification when motion is detected and record when motion is detected. Now that recording is not, it's not going to actually record video. It's going to record pictures. Every time there's a motion detector, it's going to take a picture. So if you just set it up just for that alone, um, it's gonna. Anybody comes in your house when you're at work, you're gonna get a notification. You'll be able to watch them live with audio and video, and it's gonna be recording pictures to your 
to your font to your computer let me show you what that looks like so that video I just made you can go motion events folder you just click view and it's designed really well it tells you 2013 October 24th at 2121 which is two minutes ago it took this many pictures and it's gonna be the pictures of the recording it just did you can kinda go through the pictures and there's no sound but I'm just scanning through pictures of the recording I just did but you could really have some good info of who's been in your house and what they've been doing or who's doing whatever or just some people use it for animals to so make sure to check up on their animals and and so to me this app is amazing because it it's really solid I mean you can see how well it, it just works um, if you don't want oh I was gonna go into <coughs> the obviously you can schedule it to you can add it to just start recording or start streaming at a specific time it all just goes off the time on your computer um, motion detect works really well I'm gonna make it not record and not send me notifications watch this little green motion button here when you hit start it's gonna show me again if I leave the frame that motion turns off you can see that it wouldn't be recording or doing anything at this point there's no motion detect but as soon as it detects motion look how well it works green right when there's motion no motion off motion green I mean and that's how it comes out of the box it's really really good I've been amazed at how well this thing has worked um, now let's say we set it to record motion so right now there's motion tech it's going to be recording me if I leave and the motion stops you see that I'll be gone for a good 15 20 seconds 30 seconds it's not taking any pictures it's not taking up any space on my computer right now but once I come back in it's going to start taking pictures of me I hit stop I can go over to view you can see there's a new one for 2125 which is right now and there's those pictures it just took you can see that I leave the screen and it looks like I come right back in because it wasn't taking pictures while I was out of the screen but you can see by the time the name of the actual picture how much time has passed so if somebody disappears at you know 2530 and now that's 43 you can see they're out of frame for 13 seconds it's really and I mean it does it to the thousandth of a second is the accuracy on this thing five bucks I'm amazed I'm amazed at how well this thing works um, again if I put in send notification let's not record this one let's just do notification and I hit start get out of there come back in detects motion saying at work somebody's dinking around in my house it's gonna take probably 15 20 seconds not even that to get me my notification bring it back in live feed with sound. Back in, live feed. with sound I mean it's crazy that's like a $18 Best Buy mic I mean um, webcam and mic and five dollars spent on this app and it I'm amazed with it. it it's really awesome I can go into more detail if you want again you can um, I'm gonna stop this but <clears throat> you can add cameras just by clicking add and you get you can change all the camera information here um, you can do four cameras schedule event worked really well I tested that out I've just been happy as hell with this app um, iCam in the App Store, $4.99, definitely worth it.